friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today we're going to be doing some weaving on our rag rug loom. And all I've got here is one of my old t-shirts and I'm folding it in half and I uh, cut the seam off the bottom and I'm just taking a pair of pinking shears and I'm cutting one inch strips or roughly thereabouts off the bottom. These make loops and you get a loop. See? Okay, here is our loom warped and all I've got here is t-shirt loops and yes I took Howie's advice and I tied off the bottom dowel to the bottom piece and the top dowel to the top piece and I do believe I'm going to get him to drill these holes to a full inch and we're going to go from a half inch dowel to a one inch dowel but for now all you have this to do is pull the dowel out slip your loop on and then pull the bottom one out and slip your loop on now don't worry you don't want them too tight okay you don't because if you if this is too tight your rug will buckle will buckle inwards okay so now that we've got these pretty much where we want we want to make sure they're not too close together or too far apart because if you look there's two what you have a loop and once you spread them apart you've got you know a good solid frame there I'm going to take a couple of these I don't know what you call these clips but I'm just gonna clip them right on this end of my doweling to keep it in place it can probably go that way but I also have other clips too anyway so now let's start weaving okay now what I'm doing is I've got some fabric here old sheets old fabric that uh, you know, flannel pajama bottoms anything like that and all I'm doing is tearing it into strips and I'm you know doing them all roughly the same size about an inch and a half to two inches as long as they're all roughly the same size you don't got to worry about it. Um, I've just got my I've just got my strips of fabric up here hanging on the top frame and now I'm going to show you how we weave it. Now we start with this piece of fabric we want it it's folded in half and we want one end longer than the other so that we don't always uh, end up splicing our fabric in the same spot. Now we take the folded part and we take this and put it under the first one. Okay? Then we're going to cross it over and take the next one and go under the back and then bring it over. Okay folks, the light's not very good in here because it's evening and I have a clamp lamp up here. I'm going to sit down and do some weaving tonight. What I want to do is because this is great, this is a good height for while I'm standing, but I want to sit on my desk chair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it down and I'm just going to cut this ribbon that I have there. Uh, we're going to come up with a better idea for this. Take this out and I'm going to lower it down two notches. And I'm going to take this one down and put it in the bottom. And I'm going to tighten up the ribbon I have here. See how this bows? That's why we... But I'm going to take this and I'm just going to slip this piece of ribbon or this piece of fabric and I'm just going to pull this up so that it's a little more stable and just tie it off on the back bar. See all I've done is just taken a piece of fabric which can be just I've tied it to the back bar not the top 
pull it up and then we'll just readjust our stuff and I will continue to weave. I'm almost at the at, at the end here and I'll show you that in a minute but what I want to show you first is Wolfie's, I'm going to hand the camera off to Wolfie. Now this is really loose folks and it really doesn't have to be tight but this this is a rough rag rug. Now first I want to show you that when you get when you come back over and you're working every once in a while just grab a couple of your strands and push up just to tighten it. Now I'm going to splice in some fabric. I have no rhyme or reason to these fabric strips folks. I'm not, this isn't an art project. This is my first attempt. Now for splicing I'm going to hold the fabric up end to end, fold it over, put a snip. Then I'm going to release it and then I'm going to put them butt up against each other so the holes line up. I'm going to bring the bottom of my new strip, push it through the back and pull and we have a splice. Okay now this can go really fast folks so it's real simple it's a ver it's actually a horizontal braiding alright you see how this goes under it always goes over the back one you get your next strand under over your hand next strand under over your hand okay so I'll slow down just a little bit because I'm actually having a lot of fun here so you take your strand you put it under throw it over bring your other one forward from underneath go under your next strand throw it over bring your next one from behind under over your hand and over the strand bring the other one back from under and over and we just continue on on down and when you get to one of those this knot we're just gonna tuck it in behind there and bring this over and under okay and you could drop it at any time just that just do that and we're going to go back along where we've just worked and tighten up now like I said there's no rhyme or reason to my fabric folks but we're going to I'm going to show you how to turn back on itself now that I have figured out how to do it okay we're at we're coming to the end here and we're going to go under we're going to throw our back over and then we're going to take our strand and again we're just going to go over this and the next one you can tell you're going in the right direction when we're going to bring this back over like this you're just going to crisscross just like that and this one used to go over so now it's going to go under and you throw it back over this way and then you're just doing the whole process in reverse under again I should have pulled, tugged that over and then un under the next one over your hand and under the next one see how it's this one's over this one's under and we're gonna let Papa go watch his movie now thank you dear and it really truly looks like a horizontal braid this is the Miss Evolfi from our Half Acre Homestead saying, you know what? Rags. Doesn't have to be an art project, but it can be an art project. If nothing else, it will be functional.